All right, so let's get back here for another round. No league here. I'm going to go say hi to my puppy quick, and then I'll be right back. Philly boy, you want to play that shadow with dad? Can I play that shadow with dad, Philly boy? Oh my gosh, you're getting too big to play to play magic with dad. So I think I'm, I, I really don't like hands like this. I've got three lands. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. God, you're getting big, buddy. That didn't work, Phil. Oh man, I remember when he was like, I'm gonna keep my hand. It's pretty loose though, I think. If you want to mulligan this, I would get it. I would do it as well. But it's explosive. That's not what I want to see. Which is sad. Stub's not bad. So I could just hold my street rates, plan to stub whatever my opponent's next turn is, or next thing they do is. But I would not mind I wouldn't mind playing the Death Shadow with Stubborn Denial. So I might hit a discard spell and want to cast that. So let's. There's merit to fetching here, I think, but. Not too easy worth keeping. So now I can be much more liberal with my stubborn denial because I'm going to draw this thought seize. That I can pair with my Death Shadow next turn. All right, gonna go get Blood Crypt. I also adapted your mana base, Ben. I was cheating on red fetch lands. I was only playing two. But recently, I was playing a league with your deck. I, I, I did like having the, the sixth shock land. Nice. So I kind of just want to take this Snapcaster Mage and next turn go like Snap Thought Seize again before playing Death Shadow and just try to like try to win that way. Because just running the Shadow out here is not going to do anything and I get to at least um, use my mana here with this Thought Scour. And if my opponent gets too cute, then I can like Snapcaster, Thought Seize, and, um, oh, we have another land. I guess I can't, like, Snap, Thought Seize, and play Death Shadow. Because likely this Logic Knot is actually going to counter this Snapcaster. So this likely gets countered. Still hold up my stubborn denial. You gotta take this with the logic knot, right? This gets logic knotted. Now, now I just pass the turn. If they, if they like go to play Jace, I can stub it. Um, then on my next turn, I can go snap Thoughtseize. That probably trades with Cryptic Command, the snap does. 
but I can stub the snap and still take the, uh, or I can stub the, uh, whatever it is, the cryptic command and then still get the path. So let's go like this to start. Well, they can't even cast cryptic. Wild. So now cast it. Just shock myself. Get this into play. <clears throat> Detention Sphere, Cryptic Command, Path to Exile, Terminus. Well, I think we just take this Path to Exile and then leave our Snapcaster Mage in play. And then hopefully they miss on lands and we can play Death Shadow with Stubborn Denial up. Oh, they're going to they're going to shoot. This was a mistake on my part. They're in a field of ruins. So they're not going to miss on lands, but now I only have one blue source. Oh, they go right into the Jace. That's so... That sucks. But now I do get to attack it, bolt it, play Dash out of Stubborn. This isn't bad, actually. Put a card on the bottom. actually didn't work out that bad for me. Like nearly as bad as I thought it was going to. So let's just bolt this Jace. Play a big old Death Shadow. So we're going to get him for 11 here. Wow, that's pretty good. Now they just bounce this Death Shadow and cycle that I'm just going to like let them do that. And then I'm going to recast the Death Shadow and then play the Gurmag Angler while having Stubborn Denial up to be able to hit like Terminus or something like that. And then, like we, we get wrecked here by Supreme Verdict and my opponent's not in range to like, um, they're not in range to dying to anything relevant because like we just, gave, we just gave up nine points of damage. But Anything but a Supreme Verdict. Just tap out and Terminus me. Okay. So they have Terminus as their last card. So they are going to be able to clean up my board here. Wow, that's such a big draw. Just like a massive draw. Now we just gotta keep chugging. Looting's pretty great. Looting lets me hit Battle Rage and win. I have no idea what their last card could be. But is it worth just ditching both of these pushes? Thought seizing? It's obviously a spell. So I'm going to ditch both my pushes. Thought seize them. It's an opt. Put 
it on the bottom, put it on top. Come on! Oh, we had a path. Okay. Sorry, right. we got another Death Shadow. The big question here is do I even. Oh, no, I searched. I clicked yes. No. Oh, that was so bad. Oh, well. I'm glad we did that. Sometimes you zone out while you're chatting and you get rewarded for it. No justice in this world. No justice at all. All right, so we took a game in a bad matchup. So hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we can get lucky here. Take one more game. It's blue white. I like E E K command. Last hope. Stubborn denial. Cut these. Cut my battle rages. Cut a street wraith. And then cut lightning bolt. That's how we're doing. Um, hope everyone in the chat's having a good night tonight. Hanging out here. Watching some, we're watching some sweet magic. Here we will find all of these videos, these archives on my YouTube channel, which is all linked below. So if you guys want to hook me up with some more you know, support, then you should head over to that channel and just subscribe to the channel. One of the biggest things people can do for me. Um, I think I've got a mulligan. I think this hand's, like, not good enough. Yeah, this hand's much... It's not much better. If it's a threat, it's better. If I'm not a threat, I'm in good shape. So uh, serum visions. Yeah. It's odd this, this deck. I don't, I don't know if it's, it's good that this deck's taking on the Miracle Approach or not. So let's get Watery Grave. And I'll take a look. Yeah, I'm just going to take a Snapcaster Mage. What do they need to do with this? They went, they split them, which is which is good and fair. Yeah, but hit the follow here. Dionzo, thank you very much. Enjoy your emotes here. There's my Philly boy. I appreciate you. Look at that. What a guy. What a guy. Let's go open a chest for, for Dionzo. Yeah, there we go, everybody that's watching. Get them going. Got 30 play points, and you had a good chest. So I brought in EE because they showed me Detention Sphere in game one. And, um, God, I have nothing going on here. They showed me Detention Sphere in game one. And now I feel like I have to take this search for us, can't I? Yeah, I'm going to take search because I can't stub it. They showed me D Sphere in game one. I guess I also, so here's a mistake that I just made. I should have thought C's because I could engineered explosives the search. Yeah, I think there's plenty of good hits for engineered explosives in this deck. I just pissed away one of them, but I just made a mistake. Like, I should have left that uncracked also. I'm playing, I'm playing really loose right now. Yeah, we're definitely our draws aren't necessarily helping us out. I should have taken the Teferi and then engineered explosives the Supreme Verdict. Play the island and planes. Okay. All right. 
So that's gonna get verdicted, but like, you know, what are we gonna do? We got a little little celestial colonnade right here, just hanging back here, all cute like. All right. Yeah, I should have taken the Supreme Verdict. E. E. Viscanta stud this. Yeah, I toss. I, I super toss this game. So I'm gonna get aggressive. Either make them wrath me, or path me. So let's go get a planes. I would have liked to get an attack in there. That would be nice, but. I did not play this game very well. And they just have this inevitability of this celestial colony just chilling out right here. They go snap path. I probably even have to let that resolve. Yeah, I could have played this game so much better. And they might just come in with this colonnade, which would be interesting and worth worth knowing. Looks like they're just gonna fire this colonnade up. No, they're gonna verdict, okay. One, two, three, four. Well, if they go for Teferi, we might be able to double stub something. Nope. Play EE for zero and I can blow that thing up. Another colonnade, which is pretty bad. All right, well, that's going to buy me some time. So now you need to draw a Snapcaster Mage or something like that. Inside of combat, before attackers, push this. They probably just let this go. They've got a backup. So am I going to die next turn? It doesn't matter, right? Like I, I might as well just cycle this. Because I'm either going to, like, they're either going to attack me, because this is just blank, no matter what. I, I, like, the only thing that I can do with this card is just actually cast it. Yeah. Card just doesn't do anything in that point. Like, and a 3-4 is not going to win me the game. It only would have gotten me one more draw step, which was effectively that card. So... All right, so let's look to be let's look to get him here. Get aggressive. Hopefully, we get in there. And I'm back up to ten subs. It's pretty sweet. I appreciate y'all for doing that. It really feels good when people give back to the channel. You know. Like, most of all this stuff I do is, is out of a hobby, and it's fun, but it's, it's, really, it's really sweet when people just, you know, give back to it. Makes me feel appreciated, which is, which is great. I love feeling appreciated. All the proceeds to, of my Twitch stream go to keeping my puppy fat. So... Just know that you're donating to my to Philly's belly right now. Yeah, this is a good hand. So hands like this, I actually like leading on Serum Visions so that I can go like double spell next turn. Guaranteed hit a land. Then go like Inquisition, Inquisition. Or like if I hit a Street Wraith, Inquisition, Death Shadow. Or we could hit neither, which sucks. It's 
This one's gonna be rough. If I had a second lamb, we're in good shape. There's plenty to do. Alright, Ruined Halo's gotta go. I think that's another reason to have that card in, right? Ruined Halo is a good, good one here. Take the Snapcaster. This game's going to go a while, I think. There's the Mystic Gate. Jeez. Staying with the Snapcaster Mage. Okay, so they drew land. Them just hitting land drops is really good for them. This is unfortunate. This is so unfortunate. This is a really tough matchup. Like, it's it's kind of an anomaly that we hit this so, you know, we hit this as much as we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're trying to ditch the Snapcaster. And Dillion Click targeting themselves. They should target themselves. Why are they targeting me? They're not going to take anything from me. It's so bad if you give me a land. It just doesn't make sense. Target yourself. Get that Terminus out of there. Because they're not going to take anything. Right? Wow, they took Gourmet Angler. Okay. Uh, get rid of the Snapcaster Mage. I'm not crazy in thinking that was crazy, right? Because now, not only are you just, like, improving the quality of my hand just straight up. Like, you turn any of my cards into land, it's good. Yeah. Like, they should just click themselves, get rid of this Terminus, right? And found some gas. Because now... Because now I can just push this. I don't think I'm going to play a Death Shadow. I think it, I almost think, yeah, I almost think it's wrong for them to click me just because, like, just because, like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Like, you're not taking any of my cards, right? It doesn't matter what they are. So, bang, bang. I can counter both cards, which leaves them a little hamstrung on mana. Because, like, they're probably going to go path into purge here. Path, path. What, no matter what, I'm going to counter both of these and make them act on their first turn. I do like that they're purging one of these because it means my Lilianas are going to be better, my Kolagons commands. Like, because they might end up, you never know, they might end up just dealing with this a, a separate way. I'm definitely sad that I don't have my Snapcaster Mage now. Because, like, Snapcaster Mage is the exact way to, to break up this kind of a stall here. Definitely need a card like a K Command would be a really good draw. Okay? That's tough. But now I can just play... But I don't have another land, which sucks. I don't have another Stubborn Denial.
I do think I'm going to play this land out because if I draw, like, if I draw a K command, bringing back a Snapcaster Mage is going to be, like, really good. If my opponent just could have just suckered me into a Supreme Verdict here, which looks like it's going to happen, yeah, we're good. I just missed my lands. Missed my, missed my first two land drops there, I think. I think I had a chance to win that game. Like, my hand was set up well. And I think I think you got to keep one mana Serum Visions with quite a bit of disruption to clear the way. But that was just not not meant to be. Been a rough stream. We're only 3-3 three and three tonight, which is kind of rough. We have run into Blue-White Control twice, which is... You know, probably this deck's worst matchup in the format. I, I can't think of a deck that is worse to play than blue-white control. Um, I would like to play first. Yeah, we'll keep this. This is a turn one, three... One, four, it's only one, three, five cards, so we got to turn two nasty, which is what what the doctor draws up. Nice. Now we have, now if we draw Stubborn Denial, we've got um, Angler. I guess we don't, okay, so we're playing against Affinity. Yeah, so I definitely want to take like a payoff card here, like, like an Arc, like a Arcbound Ravager, but we're playing Hardened Scales. Yeah, I'm just going to take this Arcbound Ravager. That Evolutionary Leap is going to be awkward because you know it's just going to turn into something really good. Push is a good draw. So, Pendlehaven into Hardened Scales. Cast that next turn. This is why I think I think that these Death Shadow decks now should be um, should be three Snapcaster Mage decks because you're so aggressive you're so aggressive with your delving you just don't have time. Okay, Archon Ravager. So we can just deal with that now before my opponent gets to untap. And I kind of just want to take this evolutionary leap. Because isn't, isn't the leap what's going to find them what they need? Like the hardened scales, if I leave them with hardened scales, they can top deck a two drop and do some pretty nutty stuff. But I've got a removal spell for the two drop. So I think I'm just gonna take the leap. So they have hardened scales, horizon canopy. I don't know if that's super right to do. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that I know the hardened scales matchup. You're eight percent in second land after turn one serum visions. I like looting a lot. I think I think it improves um I think it helps the deck. It fixes some of the deck's shortfalls. I'd love to hit a land here to snap Thoughtseize again. If I hit a land now, I can play Nasty. Tilt. I think it fixes some of the deck problems with the deck. Because, like, Team of Battle Rage was always kind of a mopey card in the deck. Like, it was never super great. You just played it because you needed to. Now, Faithless Looting makes it, like, not terrible to play Teamer Battle Rage. You know, because you can just ditch it. And it, it's got its costs. Like, it's more, like, it's, you go down a card, which is pretty bad. I feel like I'm about to get, like, some really big salty message in the chat here. Like, I, I just feel it. And another thing that looting does is it just... It just enables your, um, it enables more threats on turn two, which is what you need. If you don't play threats on turn two, 
you're not going to you just you just can't do quite enough. Okay, so they have nothing, which I will take. Like you just you, you can't you can't wait around and be cute, you know. Yes, TLDR. So there's the canopy. They're just digging. So we can actually play Gurmag Angler while having, they just scooped it up. Like I think, I'm gonna turn some lights on, it's getting dark. Do it, boy. Like, I think that for your deck to be good in modern, it has to be linear or play Blood Moon. If you're not, like, if, if you're playing a fair deck. So I don't even know how to side against this deck. I think I want something like this. Liliana Lasso doesn't seem great. Um, I, have, I, have no, I have no idea. Like... Grim Lava Mancer actually doesn't seem very good. Like, I kind of just want to keep really low to the ground the more that I think about it. Like, maybe I don't want these Snapcaster Mages. We don't want to go long against it. I, I really feel like I don't want to go long against a deck that's full of, like, synergy cards and full of um, evolution. It's got evolutionary leaders. Like, Spider Avenger, nice Ray, and Bant Eldrazi is a good deck because you can play Thought Knots here on turn two. Yeah, I'm gonna cut my stubborn denials if I'm on the draw. And one of these. Oh, I guess I'm actually I'm actually evened up on cards. Yeah, Band Eldrazi is good because I have Eldrazi Temple's busted. I have no idea if this is right. Like, all I know is that I don't want to play a long game. I want to play Gurmag Angler quickly. That's the plan. This hand's like so good if the top three cards in my library are a threat. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ship it. Okay. This is an angler on two. This is a pretty good mole of three. This card, Ray, I'm sorry, but this card should not be in the modern format. This card is too good. This card is way too good. This makes me not even want Colagon's command in my deck. So if I just ee would on two, ee on zero, nah, that can't be right. Probably going to end up discarding the Engineer Explosives. Just kidding. No, I think your deck's very good. I think it's good because it's a creature deck that has insane nut draws. And so now I want to figure out some way to just sweep this hanger back walker up under the rug. Your deck's your deck has insane nut draws with Eldrazi Temple, which you need at which aggro decks need to have. I don't think Eldrazi Temple is a problem. What I do think is a problem is um 
is the amount of consistency that a green deck gets from a cantrip. I think it's just insane. What do we got? This is bad. So I go Shatter Shock. And then try to EE -E away the Thopters. Yeah, EE -E on zero is the plan. But you're great, Ray. You're great because you have a great restaurant. Okay. So this ballista is going to get massive. This ballista costs zero, though, right? On the stack in play? Guess. If we're going to merc this thing, we're going to get all these. I don't really want to attack. But I'm not blocking... Yeah, I don't. I think. I think with the, the amount of flyers they have, we're just gonna hold back here, hold this ballista back here, EE -E for zero, clear the board. Okay. So now I have to race these two blink moths, which is a, which is gonna be difficult. Especially after EE -E for zero, they're gonna shoot me for three. So I need like another K command probably. What am I supposed to have ceremonies rejection in against this deck? I don't actually turn off all yields. I'm gonna thought seize my opponent. Inquisition them. So shoot me for three. I have two draw steps. Likely dead. It's literally like just K command that gets me out of this. All right. We'll get rid of that guy. I don't know who that guy is, but he is a fucking troll. No way. I guess they're going to go for it next turn, but this gives me another turn. Like, if I draw a removal spell, I now have another turn. I guess... Not necessarily if this is good. Oh, they drew a dismember? Oh, that's gross. Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll give it the college try. Hey, Johnny. Yeah, scoop it up. So we're on the play. Like it's hardened scales. I just don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm playing against hardened scales. Going into game three. I just like I, I just don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to have like 
Ceremonious rejections, stubborn denials, snapcast formations. Like, I, they, they play evolutionary leaps. So I don't really want to play a grind game. I kind of just want to, like, kill some artifacts, kill them. I don't want to, like, I want to make it so I want to play Angler on turn two, so I don't really want to play this Lava Mancer. Yeah, we're just going to, we're going to, we're just going to try to go fast. We're just going to put our head down. Put our head down and get there. Let's see if I missed any follows tonight. Had some new faces in the crowd. We had uh, Dolnaz38 with the sub. That's the only person we haven't had any follows either tonight. You guys are killing me. Oh, hand would be so explosive if I could hit two land drops. But that's just, like, pretty greedy. And so reactive. And it's like not good, but I don't think I can mulligan it. Let's go get a watery grave. Yeah, me too. You played that deck once, Johnny, back in the day. Right? You played a classic with it. So we don't want these here. I'm probably going to put an EE for one out. Next turn is it's going to get rid of, um, like, any hardened scales. Played it hammered. It was like at 10 in the morning, Johnny. You weren't hammered. You were hung over. Wicked difference. I'm probably, I'm, I'm so dead. I just don't have anything going on. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Bone jar. Okay. Hanger back walker for one. So annoying. So I can just trade all these. Um. Trade two for two next turn, which I think is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to play this EE for zero, crack it. They go to they go to help get it back with Welling Jar. Fatal push the Hanger back Walker. And then the board clears an EE for a push for these two. All right. So does that change anything? Yeah, that... Doesn't change anything because I'm at 16. Unfortunate. So we sack this. We push this. Now if they play something that are hardened scales, we can play EE next turn, blow it up, and then still play Death Shadow. And the Thopters cost zero. So we need to draw like a bunch of Death Shadows. Okay, Arcbound Worker, Brown Ravager. Jeez. So I, I think we're gonna put EE on two, then play Death Shadow. Because I'd like to get rid of this Ravager. My Shadow is eventually going to get larger than um, and this arcbound worker, while it might not happen too quickly. It's been a tough night for the home team. Rough stream so far. Let me just F6 here. We're not doing anything. Card is busted. That card is nuts. That this dirtily green artifact deck has a the best cantrip in the format. Are you still streaming right now, Johnny?
hanger back walker. So I can actually hanger back, move everything over, and then trade the hanger back for my death shadow. I guess I can keep the hanger back walker around longer. Oh, this is so bad. So I just like sack one Arc Wild Ravager, work her onto the Ravager, sack the Ravager. Just take it. Could just kill me. One, sack, 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 modular one. I should have thought about this before it killed me. Sack, sack. Uh. So I guess we start by blowing this up. What is this target? Now we dismember this. They shoot me. And now I think I crack in here. Like, we're just going to get on the offensive. What an odd deck. Oh, that's bad. So that leaves me... Three dead next turn, unless I draw a removal spell. So now I need like a faithless looting, just something here. It's a redraw. All right, put on the bottom, put on the bottom. We hit the looting, which is gas. Just something relevant. Come on. Just give me something. Engineer explosives will be good. Gurmag Angler is not bad. The big question is, can I attack? That's most likely a big no. My opponent puts an artifact on the stack, I'm dead. But So I actually can attack, right? Because I'm dead if they get an artifact no matter what. So I just serve in here. Because I just modular onto the thing that's not blocked. I didn't mess up, Johnny. I couldn't. I, I had to take care of the dog. So we just get in here. I guess I'm dead. It doesn't matter. I'm just dead because of the Pendle Haven. The Pendle Haven kills me no matter what, even if I had held one back. But now I make sure to block this arcbound worker. Oh, that's cute. 
We have double modular. Oh, so I'm just dead. The modular did that. Yeah, this is just like... So I was dead no matter what. I had to hit a removal spell for the creature that came through. But, such is life. Yo, quit bitching, Johnny. It's all you do. God, we are getting worked tonight. We're probably going to finish this league out, and then we're going to call it here. It's been a tough, tough night for the home team. Two. Yeah, I think I think a deck like that obviously gains equity because it uh, people know how to play against it. And I clearly did not know how to play against what my opponent was doing there. Like, you know, I, I, I made some mistakes. It put me in awkward situations. I'm sure if I played that deck a couple more times, I might have a shot at piling in it decently, or playing against it decently. But that was not the case. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, I'm gonna keep this hand. We can we got two ways to interact. We can do the bobble trick. It's Misty Rainforest. This is likely either really good or really bad. So I would say we're playing against the infect here. Hand's kind of rough if it's black green infect. If it's regular infect, it's not that bad. Because the the black green one, they have the three drop that I can't kill. The Lily's really good if they don't have a hardened scales. But if they if they harden scales me, then all of a sudden it doesn't do anything. So we're playing Death Shadow Mirror? No. We're playing it's like a bug control deck. Misty Rainforest control deck here. Alright. Let's cycle this in case we hit a Thought Scour. Oh, we didn't. Alright, so we do want a Death Shadow. So we're just gonna hold up our counter spell here. Pass the turn. I might end up bolting myself in order to turn on this stubborn denial. I have no idea what's going on over there. I'm just playing some blue black control deck. I think I'm going to bolt myself. Like, well, this stubborn denial is going to counter something. I can promise. Promise you all that. It's another good draw. So it looks like they're going to get us with this one, okay. Steam Vents is messing me up. I could have triple spelled there, but I'm not sure that I would have played the Angler. Might have just been better to hold this up here. All right, so let's trade resources here. I thought we could, like, snap push me, and then which I'm going to need a Snapcaster. In order to hang with this, thought sees. Okay, so there goes my angler. Ensnaring bridge, and I'm just cold to that. 
I, I don't have a way to get this off the battlefield. Yeah, so we're just playing a blue, black, and snaring bridge deck. The opponent came to play tonight. But what are you going to do? Sometimes you just get bridged. So let's. We want these. We want the last hope. These are all pretty good. I'm assuming I don't want dismember. Battle rage. I'm going to cut all my removal and I'll bring some more in if my opponent gives me a reason to. I think this is what we want to do here. We have enough discard. We have a couple ways to get rid of that artifact. We have four ways to get rid of uh, to get rid of ensnaring bridge. I think I'm gonna bring in this explosives instead of the ceremonies rejection. I didn't see that I grabbed that. Ceremonies rejection seems kind of narrow. Yeah, I appreciate everybody for hanging out tonight. It's been a pretty good stream. I've been getting worked, but still still had some good talking. Decent amount of people stopping by tonight. But overall, it has been a rough day in the neighborhood for the home team. That happens tonight. Sometimes you just get your teeth kicked in. I had a stream from last week where I went like 9-1. and one. And what goes around comes around. Let me get some more water. Oh, started. We're all good here. All right, sounds pretty good. We're going to keep this. So we're going to lead off on the discard spell. That was an awkward hand for us for, for that game. Like, we had the creature. Like, that's the, the, the classic wrong half aspect. Shards of Faith. When a player would draw a card, plays exile top of the layer of face count instead. Each player may look at this card. Exile what? I have no idea what this thing does here. So what does this do? If a player would draw a card, that player exiles the top card of their library. Opponent's library face down instead. Each player may look at and play cards. Oh. Huh. All right. So I'm going to get Steam Vents. Yeah, yeah, we did. We did. Delray's down. I gotta talk to him more about who's playing what. It's a very good draw. So I don't want either of these cards. I'm gonna cycle this because I might have stubborn denial. Last hope's very good. So I don't really want to discard any of my cards. So we're just going to hold up here. Way to go, Delray. Glad you know. Glad you know what's going on. So now, because now we can ditch this Death Shadow. Yeah, so we're going to get Shadow, Land, and then play Gurmag Angler. I could have kept the Shadow and then played EE for zero, pop the EE, but let's get rid of this Death Shadow. 
We're going to probably end up snap thoughts using my opponent next turn to get rid of this thing. This is an ensnaring bridge. We can just blow it. Or they're going to path, they're going to path my Gourmet Angler. Lingering Souls. Okay. Gas. We can deal with Lingering Souls. Let's get in here first. Funny thing, if I EE for zero, it actually clears up the Lingering Souls as well next turn. But I kind of want to get... I kind of want to... Like, thought sees this out of my opponent's hand before it gets me, you know? Yeah, thanks for being on the team, Del, right? It makes makes everything a lot easier. What is this? We got a board wrath? Okay. Wood wipe. So I think I want to just snap thought sees this thing while while we have a window. I just don't think I want to let this thing resolve if I can avoid it. Okay. The next time we're likely to just loop that angler, I think. I think playing angler is going to be more effective then slogging through these pushes here. <laughs> what is this? Four blue mana? Jace? Oh my god. This is going to be a pretty weak Jace. Unless they get to push my Snapcaster, which, like, isn't super great for them. That was a wicked hit, though. Hopefully they just don't push the Snapcaster me. Don't push my Snapcaster. Come on. Okay. Well, we figured that was going to happen. So I can go Shatter Shock. Roll down. Then I get two more cards in my graveyard. Plus this is five. No, I'm out of, I'm out of, I'm out of mana if I do that. I could just try to ult my Lily. But he doesn't have very many turns to ult this Lily. I'm fairly sure I'm just trying to try to ultimate this Liliana. And the Liliana should beat the Jace. But I could just go... Command, make him discard a card, shatter this. And then I can at least play Death Shadow next turn. Which that sounds good to me. Target player discards its card. Destroy target artifact. Let's see what the last card was. It's an ensnaring bridge. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm uncomfortable playing against this deck for sure. Like, I just don't know enough about it to feel great about it. I'm assuming they have cryptic commands. Like, they get a lot of luck at cryptic. I'd love to hit, a, like, a stubborn denial. Because stub means I can at least get Snapcaster, or get Death Shadow to play and protect my Liliana. You play Storm in Legacy, right, Delray? Flashback Lingering Souls. Just take something. We have to take the explosives. Taking explosive buys them a turn. 
Yeah. Jeez. And then I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna go. I kind of just want to go bang bang because I really want to get this ult down. I'm gonna draw lands eventually in order to snap back this Colgon's command. So. Caleb Shear was the... I'm going to do this on my opponent's upkeep. Well, they could have like a cryptic command. But if they have a cryptic command... Oh, yeah, I want to do this right now. Um, Caleb Shear 5 0 today with a with an Antlus cryptic deck, I guess. I don't know. Not Antlus. Um, after bans. What do we get rid of? A Fatal Push? Okay. So let's hope this Liliana Ultimate takes us to the Promised Land. Because like we have we we've got infect, which is kind of like in the same spot where you don't really know what's going on with it. Um, and then Tom's also got mono red prison, which mono red prison kind of I don't know how good that deck is anymore. God, just don't kill. Come on, don't do it. Okay, ensnaring bridge. All right, so. So we're not drawing, we're now drawing to lands, basically. They're drawing Thoughtseize. So I might as well just cast this. I could, I know I should have flashback faith this looting, that was stupid. Prison still good. I didn't sequence this very well. There's there goes an out. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, still one tonight. This is going to be my last league. Garo said he watched him play after eight leagues. He played, Caleb played eight leagues today. So we're looking for an Abrain. Looking for a braid because all of our snapcasters are now gone. I mean, these fish aren't going to do anything. We're just going to ditch the fish. We don't need anything. We don't need any more power in play. I would rather just keep a land to, I don't know, eventually be able to do more things with. Liliana, okay. So now I get rid of my land. They're just gonna fate seal me out of this game. I should have played that. I, I'm not. I'm all over the place. I'm like talking with Delray. I'm just not not focused on what's going on here. Okay. Nope. Not gonna cast that. Just gonna pass here. Yeah, I mean, he 5 he five out the league today when he was streaming. At least that's what Nilla told us. Okay, push that, sure. We took up, ditch our faithless looting. But now our looting doesn't even do anything because we don't have enough cards in play. Uh, yeah, this is odd here. I was just, like, very confused with what going on here. They put a card on the bottom, so that's likely my braid. Likely we're just dead here. We have plenty of zombies. That's not an issue. Does everyone still have DRS? I wonder what he was playing today. Well, at least this is going to be quick.
I got aggressive with my cryptic commands. I guess, I guess that was my issue. So now we need a braid. They put a card on top, so it's likely not a braid. Um, yep, that does it. All right, let's scoop it up. What an odd, what an odd deck. But sometimes that happens. Sometimes you just get whacked out of nowhere. Jeez. Jeez, that was a tough one. All right, let's go back over here. So maybe I have to go back to four serum visions. I don't know what it is, and I'm probably just running bad. Um... But ever since I switched, I, I cut a Serum Visions for a Thought Scour to kind of like get a little more regular with the, uh, with the, whatever it is, the turn, the turn two Delve cards. And I have just like not been winning games since I did that. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four. I was like, I'm literally like four and eight since I did that. That is not good. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Which seems very odd to have that be like a little change. So it's probably not only that, but maybe, maybe we just. I guess I did play against black white tokens. Um. I play against blue white control twice in two hardened scales, which I don't really know how to play against the hardened scales deck because blue white control is just like unbeatable. Um.